In this screencast, I'll be showing you how to create friend feed imaginary friends. I've been gradually moving all individuals that I follow out of Google Reader and over to friend feed. What I'm wanting are just media, pseudomedia, and work streams left behind. I'm going to move two more people right now and in the process show you how to create an imaginary friend. I'll be moving Nancy White and Sue Waters. These are two people I've been following for some time and it'd be nice to finally get them over in friend feed. First thing that you want to do is search them to make sure that they don't already have an account. So I'll do a search on Nancy White. And I see here that she has a Flickr feed coming into FriendFeed, which means she has an account. So I mouse over her and click on subscribe. Now I need to place her in the correct list. So no one goes in the home feed for her knowledge management. Click subscribe. She's done. She's been added. Next, I want to search for Sue Waters. So do the process again. Enter Sue Waters. Search. It doesn't return any feeds for Sue in friend feed. It does return a mention of Sue by Nancy White. I didn't know they knew each other. So being the lazy type, I'll just follow that link over to Twitter to begin collecting the information I need about Sue to create her account. I would like Sue to look like all my other friends and friend feeds, so the first thing I'll do is I'll grab her photo, save that so that I can use that when I create her account, give her some personality, and then also through Twitter I'll take a look here and say, ah, here's a link to her blog, so I'll go over to her blog, and while I'm here I'll grab her feed, so copy that to my clipboard. And I'll look on down the page, see what else I can learn about Sue while I'm here. I find this box that has information about where she's active on all social media. So I look and I see her account on Delicious. I see her account on Flickr. I down see her account on Twitter, so I'm making note of all of these. Not interested in LinkedIn or Technorati or Facebook or Google Reader, but I am interested in SlideShare and I see that she's DS Waters there. Armed with all this information, I'm ready to create Sue, so I click on Friends. It takes me to my Friends page, where I then click on Imaginary. This takes me to my Imaginary Friend page, where there's a button to create a new Imaginary Friend. Then enter her name and press Create. I'm ready to add her photo, so I'll change that picture bring in the photo that I just saved for her, upload that photo. Great, now that we've got our photo, we're ready to do the last step of creating an account, and that's to get her on a list. Again, no one goes in the home feed, so I take her out of home. Sue I know pretty well, so I put her down here in my weak ties, and save the changes. Final step then in creating an imaginary friend is to add her feed, so I'll click on her blog, add that URL on my clipboard, so I'll go ahead and import that blog. If we scroll the page here, you'll see that uh, we have her blog feed has been added, it's been imported. Now we're ready to add some more feeds, so we'll go ahead and enter Flickr, enter the name that I Imported from her Flickr account, which is Sue Waters. Import those Flickr images. I'm ready to add another, so this time I'll add her Delicious. Enter her username there, DS Waters. Import her Delicious feed. Ready to add another. Her Twitter. Sue Waters this time with no space. I do follow Sue on Twitter all the time, but it'll be nice to have her in friend feed. So I import her Twitter feed. And the last one I want to add is her SlideShare account. Her SlideShare feed's not shown on this page with the most popular feeds, but I can go down here to see all 59 of the feeds, and then I'll find SlideShare on that. So I scroll down, look for it, find SlideShare. 
you know, the account information for Sue from SlideShare, DS Waters, and Parker SlideShares. Again, I'll scroll and you'll see that Sue's been active on SlideShare. There's all kinds of presentations there. Now they've all been imported into FriendFeed. And from now on, when she adds anything in SlideShare, I'll see it automatically because it's much easier to follow her in one place than it is in multiple places. So with all the feeds added, I go back, look at my imaginary friends. I see that now Sue was found on that page with my other imaginary friends. I see her icons representing her various feeds. I see which list she's in, and basically she appears just like every other person that I follow. That's uh, all there is to it. Until next time, happy computing.